Hey guys, this is Dion here with Your Guitar Academy. So in this lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at licks number five and six from this minor pentatonic and Phrygian solo. Uh, this has got a fast sextuplet run in there with some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So this will really test your kind of speed and dexterity. So grab your guitar and let's get going. If you just joined us, don't forget you can head over to the website to grab all the tabs, chord boxes, backing tracks, and anything else you need to do with the course, all completely free. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, and leave us a comment and we can have a chat. All right, so let's have a little listen to these two licks back to back, and we can break them down. So. So what we've done here is we've actually kind of changed tonality. So we started off in E, sort of Phrygian. We're now in A Phrygian, okay? So this first lick, this first lick is in this kind of position four of your A minor pentatonic. Okay, and it starts like this. So this is a nice kind of pre-bend here. So you want to bend up on the 15th fret of B, whole tone, and release it. And then pick the 13th fret also of B. Well, in fact, you could pull off. And we go back up to 15, so it's. And then you see that 14th fret of G with the second finger, you catch that next. On the next part, So this Phrygian sound is coming at us again over this B-flat power chord, okay? So, so really quickly grab that 15th fret of G with our first finger, and then I grab the 17th fret of the high E and really quickly bend it up a semitone. In terms of picking, I go down, up, okay? And then release the bend, pull off from 17 to 15, and then 18, 17, and then 18 on B, 17 on B. So once again. Okay, once more. So let's just listen to that lick with the drums, okay? So three, four, and. Once again, oh, let's <laughs> count myself in. Uh, one, two, three. Still one small. So that's that lick, and then the next one sounds something like this. So this is a little bit trickier, this one. So this is when we start playing sextuplets, okay? So that basically means we have really fast groups of six notes, okay, in context of the beat. So with the drums, you'll hear kind of what it sounds like. So. So, so the good thing about this lick is that it starts in exactly the same way as the previous lick with this you know, that, uh, minor pentatonic pre-bend, but then we move downwards. So what we have here is we have the 10th fret of the B string with the first finger hammering on. It's kind of like, I guess, yeah, it's sort of like a D uh, natural minor kind of scale shape that I was thinking of. 
thinking of here. Um, so yeah, 10th fret with the first finger on the B string, hammer on to 11, and then you pick that 13th fret on the high E. And that's really quick, so down, hammer, up. And you have to really quickly jump back down to the 11th fret, so. Okay, and then we start our run down. Okay, so that's simply going, and then 12, 10, 13 on B, 12, oh, sorry, 13, 11, 10 on B, and then 12, 10 on G. Let me just do that once more. And you know, I'm thinking, yeah, so I'm using quite a bit of um, legato here, so I go, Pull off there, pick, pick, pull off, pick, pick. So. If you wanted to pick it all though, it's entirely up to you. Ah. I think that's a bit trickier, so I'm kind of I'm quite a kind of legato player myself, hence why I'm using that there. Um, when we finish that lick with a big bend on the 13th fret of B, upper tone. Release the bend, pick the note normally, then fret 10 on the B, and then, so that was 12 uh, on the G string, bend upper tone, release, and then 12, 10. Once again, let me just play it a bit slower. Okay, so let's just hear those two licks now together in context with the drums and we'll see how they all fit together. Three, four, and. And I would suggest, especially with those sex tuplets, just really try it at a much, much slower speed to get them sounding really, really nice and tight. So if you can get them really rhythmically accurate at higher speeds, as in when you get up to higher speeds, it really, really sounds cool and nice and fluid and uh, slick. Um, so let's just listen to the solo so far before we talk about the final couple of licks in the next video. So here we go. And there we go, so that's what we've got so far. So again, I'm playing that, that's around about 65 BPM there. I'd encourage you to just start maybe a touch slower than that and just gradually work up bit by bit, lick by lick, start bolting it all together. Um, and then really importantly, try and play along with the drums or a metronome where possible um, to ensure that you're maintaining good timing. Um, so yeah, have fun with that and I'll see you in the next video for the last couple of licks of this solo. So that's it for this lesson. So if you wanna head back to the beginning of the course, you can click here. And if you wanna go on to the next lesson, you can click here. So leave us a comment, guys, and we'll get back to all of your questions. We absolutely love hearing your feedback. It really helps us out.